It's important to take a whole patient approach to treating patients with Fabry disease. You have to make a decision about which treatment will best fit that patient's needs. You knew from your family history that this is a potentially life-threatening disease. You know, the treatment does make an impact. It can improve both the length of your life and the quality of your life. I mean, when you started, there was one option. Mm -hmm. Now there are several, and then there are a number of other things that are being studied that um, hopefully will broaden the horizons. When mapping out a treatment plan for Fabry disease, it is important to make sure that the patient is eligible for treatment. For most men, they will have progressive disease and should be treated as early as possible. For women, the timing and eligibility of treatment need to be uh, documented. With women, you need to have some symptoms or evidence of progressive storage uh, prior to making a decision to initiate treatment. You mentioned that you had that there had been people who told you that you were a carrier. We now know that that's not true. We know that actually more than half of the women will eventually develop significant health problems, that those are a little bit different for women than men. We knew my dad had the disease, but as I said, we just didn't think it was our disease growing up because we were just told we were carriers. In 2006, I was finally officially diagnosed with Fabry. I went to the geneticist and got the testing done. But after that point, I still didn't feel like it was my disease. And so finally in 2012, I got on ERT. You were right in saying that you're not a carrier, and that this needs to be addressed as a condition. Um, but not all women are going to develop symptoms. And this is one of the reasons that there is sometimes uh, hesitation to start treatment um, before symptoms in women. It's because about a quarter to a third of women will not develop severe health problems. It is important to keep in mind that most patients will need nonspecific treatments in addition to Febre-specific interventions. So each of the symptoms that you have need to be addressed. So if you have protein in your urine and it gets above a certain cutoff, then they need to start you on medicine for the urine protein. If you have heart disease and you have a rhythm disturbance, you need to take medicines for that or get a pacemaker or we need to take care of each of the problems individually as well as treating the underlying genetic condition and what drives the disease forward. When determining how to best treat a patient for Fabry disease, it is important to keep in mind the needs of the patient and their family. How big of a burden is the treatment? When my first treatment came up, I think I was stuck on eight hours. When, you, when you're dealing with something like this that's gonna be for the rest of your life, I was still getting over the fact that I got to come in two Saturdays a month. I thought I would be in and out, you know, go ahead and give me this medicine. I can get up out of it. And they said, well, no, it's going to take about eight hours. I said, well, you want me to sit here for eight hours? The, the burden of care, the, you know, you have to go through the, not only the treatments that take a big chunk of time out of your, your life, but then all the follow-up monitoring and, and things that go along with that. It is like a part-time, full-time job. <laughs> and the fact that you have to rotate your entire life. You wanna do vacations? Well, let's look of when we're having treatments. You, uh, school activities for the kids, activities for myself. It consumes your life of what you have to decide and the choices that you make and even if you want to move to a different location. So it's always there helping you decide things in life. It's very important to take a whole patient approach to treating patients with Fabry disease. Keep in mind which areas of the disease you want to specifically target and what do you want the response to treatment to be. This will help you develop a personalized, comprehensive approach to treatment. For more information on the treatment of Fabry disease, visit fabryfacts.com.